I have the MCS Vortex. Uh, this one has A5 internals. It's the, the MagFed version of the A5. There's the clamshell with the A5 internals. And got the stock on the back. Uh, I already did the review going over the internals and everything, which you can find on my Facebook page. Did a live review there. So today we're going to test out the durability and reliability. We're going to shoot it, we're going to throw it, we're going to cover it in dirt, and then we're going to shoot it again. See how it acts. So, safety first. As always, I have my air up bunker over there. And this will be a continuation of the last review that we did. And that air up is going to be going through all four to test its durability and see how it holds air over time. So, let's do it. Got one ball break. I am using old paint, so it's not really surprising. Got one that broke inside. Alright, that's the first mag. <clears throat> I am going to ungas this because this is my tank that I use. And precaution. So, when you're on the field, sometimes there's hazards. Sometimes you come across little twigs on the ground, and you're running, and oh, oh no, it fell into a hole, and now it's covered by dirt. Or you just want to camouflage your marker so you can pick it up later. Yeah, nobody's going to see that, right? And you got to pick it up. Dust it off, throw it around some more, make sure that you got it nice and dirty. Toss it up in the air. It happens. But the main concern is, what happens after that happens? How does your marker perform after you beat the crap out of it? As you can see, we got it all nice and pretty and dirty. Make sure the barrel's clear. Because it did take a barrel dive. We're good. No barrel plug. Right. Let's guys this sucker up. And see how it does. There we go. Got my mag right here. Mag it. Got a hiccup. Got one stuck in the chamber right there. So what happens when you get that? Take a stick and just pop it. Don't know why it's doing that. We're good on air. Got another one. 
That's not good. Got another one. Seems like it'll fire one. And then it doesn't want to shoot again. Try the other mag. Yeah, this thing doesn't have full auto, so I don't know what it's doing. Well, went through that mag pretty good. Go back to the first mag. We're not firing. Looks like that's all she wrote. So I'll we'll degas it. So all in all, it's vortex. Shot pretty well before it got dirty, but I wouldn't recommend hiding it in the woods. You're gonna have some misfires, it seems like, afterwards. I mean, it could, could just be some dirt got in right there into the bolt. But I don't know. Just, uh, I wouldn't try to get it too dirty. It was firing pretty well beforehand. You might, if you get it dirty, you might have to take it apart, try to clean it up before you go back out. Or just test your luck, I guess. Got a couple shots off. But as you noticed, we had to keep breaking the balls in there. Which, I don't know. I just don't like that. But, like I said, it was a solid marker. Just keep it out of the dirt and mud. And it'll run like a champ, it seems like. Yeah. Got some dirt right there. That was keeping it hard to cock now. So just keep uh, keep the dirt out of the front portion up here. That's probably was the key. Magwell is completely filthy as well. As you can see here, mixture of dirt and paint right there. Cock that back. That thing's just, it has dirt all inside there, paint, it's all gummed up. But, I know, it happens. Always keep a backup on you, just in case. If you like this review, like it, share it, comment, 
have any questions, let me know. I'll be doing another one next week, so stay tuned. I'll be over the, the other two that we got to do a review on, so stay looking forward to that. I'd like to give a shout out to Tipman, MCS, AirUps, and Armagillo. Give them a like, and have a good one.